Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Dr. Bagley. I apologize. I'm just a little late today, and I wanted to knock this uh, video out. It was um, one of my Facebook friends uh, on my last video I talked about. And so today we're going to talk about red flags. <laughs> okay, because, you know, I, I do realize that there's not a lot that talks about red flags and uh, the proper and, and so on of how to deal with red flags. So we're going to talk about the different steps. We're going to talk about what the right way is and maybe something that is not fair. So let's get right into it. So red flag. So when we have the terminology of red flag, red flag in counseling, we're really saying that it is a warning. Okay. Um, think of it in a engine light type warning. So the engine light comes on, you know something internal of the engine or somewhere in the component of the car, you know something is problematic. So a red flag is a warning, which simply means in the relationship, something internal could be problematic. So let's talk about how or the steps of how to figure out what is a red flag and how do we work it out and so on and so forth. Okay, so the proper route of a red flag is step number one, communication. Communication in this context is communicating to let the other person know your boundaries, okay? So, for example, a man and a woman come together. The man might say, hey, this is the type of woman that I'm looking for. And vice versa, the woman might say to the guy, well, this is the kind of guy I'm looking for. All right. So to give you an example, something a guy could say is I prefer my woman not to have her breasts or cleavage out and not having too sexy. I prefer my woman to look sophisticated and beautiful. And the woman might say, well, I prefer you not hang around too many guys because single guys, they go out to the club and they uh, hang out with single women. If you want to be with me, I prefer you not to hang out with single guys. And so they communicate. That's a communication that has to be communicated within the dating process, the very first part of the dating process, um, to get a understanding of where we're at within the relationship. Okay, step number one, communication. Step number two, now it's time to observe them. And observing them is not just stalking them. <laughs> observing them is just simply enjoying the moment with them, hanging out with them and just uh, just being you and them, them being them. And you guys are just having a, a nice time together. But you're still observing that you're not letting your guards down, if you will. Uh, in the beginning of the dating process, there is and still could be a chance that red flags could come up. Okay, so the warn, uh, the warning of what to do. Okay, so step number three. Here is now a situation comes up. The gentleman says to his woman in the beginning, I don't like cleavage. I don't like sexy. I want beautiful and sophistication. He then sees a picture out in social media of her wearing a dress that's a little risque and he doesn't like it. Okay, what does he do? So step number three, the warning, what to do. Step number three, one, communicate, talk to them, say, hey, uh, I saw this. This is what I saw. I didn't like it. Tell me what's going on. Um, because I thought we had an understanding that you, I did not like this and you showed me this and this is what I'm seeing. And I said, I didn't like this, but yet this is what you're showing me. What's going on? The second part of that or B is accepting or not accepting their excuse. Okay. Then comes the resolve of it. 
basically what it is is and this is how I play it as a psychiatrist or as a counselor I would simply say the first offense could uh, be a test they could be just simply testing you and to see if you're a very serious person in what you said you like or not and can they get away with certain things the second offense is considered a pattern that is past the testing that is a pattern and they're just simply now disregarding what you are requesting or asking them uh, to or not to do then it comes of what then would you want to do do you let them go or not red flag is after you communicate and you think they have a better understanding of what you're trying to communicate and you guys are agreeing. Red flag is a warning when you see them go against what you guys already communicated. Of course, there's going to be a reason or an excuse. You listen to it and then you come to a conclusion. Is it the first offense? Maybe they're testing you. You don't like it, but can you excuse it? Second offense, hmm, that's a pattern. Typically, in relationships that end terribly, they go past the first red flag, the second, and the third, and the fourth. They communicate it, they, they hung out, and then there's a flag, and there's a flag, and then there's a flag. And they're continuously in that, and then later on, we, we can get into, in that condition, we can get into something like codependency or something like that. But I don't want to get into that just yet. So what a red flag is, simple. It's just what it is. One, step one, communicate. After you communicate, observe. Don't let your guards down, especially in the beginning of the relationship. And then when you see something, it's a warning. If the, tra the, the red flag went off communicate, accept, or don't accept their excuses. First, they could be testing or not. Second, make the best judgment. My recommendations of what I've done in my past, and it hasn't always worked out, <laughs> um, you just have to use a better sense. Um, and then whatever you can deal with. Eventually, if they continuously do what they do, without you liking what they do, then of course, eventually you have to make that decision. Is it better for you to let them go than for you to stay in a relationship um, with this issue, okay? The unfair, let's talk about unfair approach to red flags and the relationship, okay? Mm. All right. The number one when it comes to unfair approaches in a relationship is not communicating. It's very simple. I'll give you an example of what, what I mean by not communicating. Uh, a lady and a man, gentlemen, they were writing. They've been dating for a year or so. They've been writing in the car. He's an over-expressing type guy. He talks a lot with his hands and body language. And for some reason, he did something and triggered her. And they got into an argument. They bro almost broke up. They came to me and they said, this is what happened. And then I asked her... What happened in your past, she says, in context, that I was in an abusive relationship and I got him. He's in it. He never abused me. But then I asked, did you let him know this? You can't say someone is a red flag in the relationship if they don't know what you've been through what you like, what you don't like, what's your goals, what's your purpose in the relationship. They're just acting out who they are. And sometimes that could be a little unfair because guys are stupid and girls are stupid too. <laughs> and 
unless we know what's going on in your mind, in your history, where we can adjust and respect what you've been through so we don't offend or uh, trigger you, don't blame them for something that they're doing. You can't say it's a red flag if they don't know that you've been hurt or you've been uh, had a bad relations or a bad experience. Give them at least the opportunity to know about a bad experience or your hurt. Traumas, on the other hand, you can wait a little bit for that. But you still want to communicate. Without communication, they're just going to be them and they're going to offend you and they're going to trigger you. They're going to do something stupid. And that's really unfair to deal with it at the moment. I personally would say in a relationship, as soon as you decide that this is really what you want in your relationship, you guys coming together, then I would simply say communicate. What you communicate is simple. What you like and dislike, including your past, um, your past bad experiences, your goals and purposes. Then once you communicate, if they violated that, then that is constitute for a red flag. Without communication, everyone offends everyone at some time in life including me. <laughs> so, um, so that's what red flag is all about. It's pretty much a warning line, a light that goes off in the relationship that you really have to just pay attention to. But communication is the key. If they know and they violate it or dis disregard, then they don't respect you but if they don't know in the beginning and they violate it and they're sorry, then maybe you should have communicated that in the beginning. Hmm? So that is what red flag is. It's a warning. It's in a relationship. Communication is the key of all understanding. Violating versus not violating or respecting versus not respecting. Working it out together is a beautiful thing. But just in case they don't, we call it red flagging. Get rid of them if it gets too serious, meaning past two flags. <laughs> All right. Um, so if you have any more questions, comments, concerns, thank you very much for our Facebook friend who asked what is a red flag. Um, I hope this answers the question. Uh, if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns about uh, anything like this or any questions when it comes to relationships or whatever, uh, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to explain it more in detail and we can all learn and do better, right? That's the goal. Until next time, have a great day and night and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.